Hey guys, it's Drew again. When I was a kid, the internet were called books. And I used to love reading books, especially about baseball stuff. So today I want to share some of my favorite books. I'm going to split it into three categories. One about collecting things, one about baseball in general, and one on biographies. So let's check it out. So one of the ways I've gained so much knowledge and uh, just about the, the community, uh, about collecting, about baseball in general, is just reading. And there has just been just an insane amount of really great books. So I wanted to touch on just some of my favorites. Uh, all of these books I've read, and all of these books I've read a few times. So I picked these out, but I literally have dozens of books. Uh, on baseball and different things that I've read over the years. So I want to talk about these. Now, the ones I'm showing are the books that I actually have hard copies of. Uh, there's been books that I've listened to that are audio books that are really, really great. And I'd be happy to recommend a few if anybody's interested in some of those. Some of these are available on audiobook if that's the way you read. But it's just a great way to learn more about the game, to learn more about the history of the game, certain players within the game, uh, different unique stories, and just in general. So I want to kind of go through a list of some of my favorites. So let's talk about collecting books first. So the first one I want to talk about, uh, in, and I've had people talk about this, is called Operation Bullpen. And if you've never read this book or heard of it, it basically goes through just this massive explosion of, uh, of autographs and and how um, how many of them, so many of them were faked, um, just different stories of people. And Operation Bullpen was actually the name of a, uh, I believe it was an FBI um, sting operation that, that brought down this massive industry back in the late 90s of uh, autographs and autograph scam. Another one, a classic one, is called Cardboard Gods. And uh, this one I actually got, it was uh, used from a library. And what's cool about this is it talks about um, just uh, it says an all-American tale told through baseball cards, and it's just about cards. And um, what's cool is they even included a stick of bubble gum, and, uh, which is right there. And um, so it's kind of neat. Uh, it just goes through, tells stories about different cards, why they were important to the to people who wrote them, some of the history behind them. So a great book if you're into collecting and collecting cards, especially from the 70s and 80s in that era. Another one, which is a classic, The Great American Baseball Card Flipping, Trading, and Bubble Gum Book. And uh, it does kind of the same thing where it talks about different cards, um, different interesting stories. Um, and there are just so many great stories about so many players and cards that are not the big Hall of Famers. Just different things that the, the sets uh, companies did through the sets. Um, just a, a great book. So this is another good good one. Uh, this one is really written for kids or on a kid level, but it's a great way to, to kind of explore and look through. Uh, and then another one is called The Complete Book of Baseball Cards for the Collector, Flipper, and Fan. And this one has got some insane pictures of cards, and it does the same thing. Again, just telling stories about cards, different sets, and uh, it's really cool. And then, it's funny, it keeps talking about this card. If you don't know the story of this card, uh, look it up, because it's really just one of the best stories about a baseball card. And, uh, and I'm not going to tell you anymore. So if you know it, comment below. If you don't know it, well, comment below and uh, see if you can figure it out. But great story about a great card. So anyway, um, <clears throat> and then finally on reference, and this is nothing more than a picture book, but is one of the heaviest books I have. And uh, it is huge. It is very, very big. And what it is, is it is Topps Baseball Cards. And it actually has a picture of every Topps Baseball Card uh, from 1951 through 1985. It doesn't give much bio. It's just pictures of cards. So if you're ever looking through and you're like, I wonder what this card looks like or that like, um, if you want to see what sets look like together, that gives a slight bio in every set. But it's just great color photos of all the fronts of every Topps card from those years. And uh, it's really a great reference if you're thinking about set collecting and you're like, I wonder what they look like all together in a book. Well, this is a way to do it. So um, it's great. If you're just interested in looking through, it's fun to flip and uh, it's, it's a good book. So on to my biography books. Um, so the first one, and I've read this book probably more than any other biography book because it's so well written. There's so many surprises in it, and it really gives a good insight of not only the history of the player, but the way it was written. Uh, the chapters alternate between the history of the player and then uh, inning by inning of a specific game, and that is Sandy Koufax, A Lefty's Legacy. And uh, the, the book, the sorry, the inning by inning 
uh, game that it goes through is when he pitched his perfect game. And there's just some amazing stuff in there. Um, just a great bio. It's written extremely well. And I really enjoy this book. So this is the book, one of the books that, like, I'm going on vacation and I know there's going to be a lot of downtime. I will bring this book, and I've read it multiple times. So I'd highly suggest Sandy Koufax, A Lefty's Legacy for a bio book. Um, it's a really great book, again. Uh, it's on uh, Roberto Clemente. And uh, The Passion and Grace of Baseball's Last Hero. And it really talks about... Um, just more of the, the hero side of who he was as a person and some of the struggles he went through both coming up as a young player, uh, being um, a, a black player in, in very early era of integration and then a lot of the struggles he had with the, the language barrier and some of the things he went through uh, playing in a small market when it was definitely the time of the big market teams and uh, so it's a great insight to uh, Roberto Clemente and who he was as a player during that time so that's a really good one so and then the last one is a classic and if you don't know this story um, look into it. it is so good uh, and the book is called the catcher was a spy and the book is about Mo Berg and uh, you know that great uh, fourth string catcher from back in the 30s and who he was but uh, if you don't know who Mo Berg was uh, outside of maybe I've heard of his name or why is his card so expensive when he was a terrible player read this book. I'm not going to give you any more because if you don't know about it, you're going to absolutely be blown away. But it's a great tale, but it's a sad tale as well um, about a person that was kind of lost uh, as, as the country and time moved on uh, through the war and then outside of World War II um, just became a very um, kind of a recluse and uh, just very much alone. And it's kind of a sad tale, but it's a very good tale. Um, but it's a very, very good read. It's very well done. So The Catcher Was a Spy, The Mysterious Life of Moberg. So that's one of those. And then, of course, this is considered one of the best baseball books of all time. And it's The Boys of Summer by Roger Kahn. Uh, it talks about the individuals, uh, Roger Kahn being part of the team as far as, uh, like, in the press media. It was very close with the... Um, the Brooklyn Dodgers and goes through bios of, of different his his interactions with the different players from that era so great book great great book um, highly highly recommended if you've never um, if you've never read it before definitely uh, the boys of summer that's where the term came from that you've ever heard and uh, it just goes through so many great different tales and then finally probably the best book of all time this is one of the most highly recommended ones the Glory of Their Times by Lawrence Ritter. And if you don't know what this book is about, uh, Lawrence Ritter, um, in the early 60s, 61 or 2, I believe, uh, went out and he made a quest to interview uh, turn-of-the-century players. And um, all it is is different players telling their stories about what they remember about baseball. And at this point, these guys, these are guys that played in the late 1800s, the 1910s, uh, guys that played with Ty Cobb. I mean, Sam Crawford is one of the people he interviewed in here. Fred Snodgrass, you know, and and it just talks, all it is is them telling their story about what it was like to be a baseball player back then, uh, how tough it was for the for the travel, for the journey, for different, um, just different things. And uh, it's just a great, great book. And if you've never read it, go read it. Uh, read part of it. Find a snippet online if you need to and just read it, but the glory of their times. And if you can, there is an audio version of this, which I actually have. And the audio version is actually the recordings, the original recordings of the players that he did when he interviewed them. Uh, just a fantastic book, fantastic tale. So, you know, we, we watch so much. We There's so much um, media out there competing for our attention. There's so much... Uh, you know, different things, just wanting our view time, and, and, and YouTube sucks up so much time, but don't forget the books. You know, find a couple of these, try them out. Um, get a book, go to your library. Um, they actually still exist out there, and pick up a book. Read it uh, when you can, little snippets, and I bet you your, your passion for the game, your passion for collecting, your passion for uh, all of this thing that we enjoy so much will go so much deeper if you just get into the minds and the, the stories of the different players that, that have built the bricks to create this great pastime that we enjoy. So I appreciate you coming along with this journey. I highly recommend some of these books. Um, just find one uh, and others. If there's other great books that you know of, let me know in the comments below. But anyway, I appreciate your time, guys. And until next time, you guys be good. Now beat it, squid.